current is critical to bass fishing success when it is available to us. Now I've talked a lot in the past about wind generated current like we've got today and man-made current like boat wakes, but today I want to touch on it for both reservoirs and rivers. While we fully understand that rivers have current, it is easy to forget about the current and how it changes in reservoirs. And of course, each reservoir is different. But when the dam operators open up the gates for whatever reason, things can get interesting real quick. Well, let's start with the common language we see when referring to current flow. It will be marked as CFS or cubic feet per second. Now to give you something more tangible that you can wrap your head around, one CFS or one cubic foot per second is equal to 7.48 gallons per second of moving water and about 448 gallons per minute. And it is not uncommon to see flow rates on some reservoirs to reach around 10,000 cubic feet per second. That's a lot of water. Let's look at what has been going on on Table Rock Lake this last week on my deep dive app. Almost every afternoon, anywhere from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. until about 6 or 8 o'clock in the evening, they have been opening the gates up and you can see the spike in current flow. It has been reaching nearly that 10,000 cubic feet per second that we were just talking about. And when we look at the lake level, it is being drawn down slightly. If I'm planning a trip to Table Rock, this is great information to have. On reservoirs, when this happens, fish that were inactive can suddenly put on the feed bag. This current generation will not only pull bass to structure where the current is flowing over it, like points and humps, but it will also, and this is my favorite part, congregate bass and get them to group up much better than when there is little to no current. Suddenly presentations that cover water like Carolina rigs and, and deep diving crankbaits can be excellent tools to locate where the current has bass positioned on structure. Now it can take multiple casts to an area to really understand how the current is positioning the fish as the water flows up and over that bottom structure. There are all sorts of undulating currents down there that we don't even realize are happening, but it can pull bass to one small area and not another. So when that water is pulling in a reservoir, don't just make a, a couple of casts to a point and then move on. Search it thoroughly to find that gem of a spot that could be holding an absolute pile of bass. Now, when it comes to rivers, the real key is varying current or current seams. Let's look at my favorite pool on the Mississippi River. It has peaked at almost double what is happening on Table Rock Lake currently. With an entire river flowing at different rates from shoreline to shoreline, those natural seams need to be explored to find how and where bass are positioned on them and taking advantage of the food that's being washed by. This smallmouth here I caught on a crankbait was relating to this current seam that was right in front of me. While the water looked shallow, this crankbait was hitting around that eight foot mark. And as soon as it transitioned from one area of current to the next, this smallie just hammered it. I had made a bunch of other casts around here with no luck, but as soon as I hit this one spot, for whatever reason, the current was just right and the fish was extremely aggressive. Now, whether it's a reservoir or a river, planning and looking at current flow can prepare you to have some of the best days on the water you will ever have. And thanks to the Deep Dive app for sponsoring this video, you can check them out on the Google Play Store or on the Apple App Store as well. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that has some footage that if I had to guess that you have probably never seen before, Go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.